I'm scared, y'all. I can. <laughs> I ain't scared no more, though. <laughs> yes. Well, hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Kyra Sean. Today's video is brought to you by Wig Types. They were kind of to send me another unit to review for you guys. Now, we will be installing and styling this unit together because let me just tell y'all right now. Ooh, I'm scared. I'm scared, y'all. I can. <laughs> I have been dreading putting this wig on my head since I got it in the mail, just because I don't really know how she's gonna go, okay? She is in my favorite color, but she is a pixie cut, okay? So if you see in this video right now, and you already saw the thumbnail, then maybe we got her together, okay? But as I'm feeling right now, <laughs> Let's do this together, okay? Now before we get into all this razzle dazzle, make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe and smash the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get our wig cap situation together. I'm gonna double cap it today, okay? Just to make sure my hair is flat because I still have not put my braids um, or my twist back into my hair yet. I'm gonna also put on our wig grip. Now I don't know how big this wig is, so um, um, we may or may not be wearing the wig. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> we may or may not be wearing the wig grip today. And this is a new one, so I need to stretch this joint out a little bit, but yeah. Okay, so today's unit is from Sensational. It is from their Sheer Muse collection, and this is the HD Lace Keep Them Guessing Molly wig. Molly, Molly, however you want to say it. And this is in the color BG for burgundy, okay? It does come with a pre-plucked hairline and baby hairs. It also has a natural density hairline, so you know, ooh, wee, that's bright. <laughs> Now they did have a 99J, um, however, it looks more purple to me than burgundy, so I was like, okay, I'll get the burgundy. This looks like Ronald McDonald red. I don't, mm-mm. <laughs> Woo, y'all. It doesn't look that bad on camera, though. Oh, she may be workable, but I'm scared of the cut and the curl looks a little tight, look real, mm -mm. Pinched, okay, I don't I don't know about this. We're gonna see together, y'all, how we're gonna get this unit together. Cause I, you know, I, I like a challenge, okay? I like a challenge. But that hairline does look nice, though. Okay, okay, not bad. Ooh, that looks bright. Ooh, that looks bright. <laughs> The color palette for this collection is pretty nice. The 350 color, I've never had that before, but my girl Mimi Carvel has featured this color on her channel before and she actually looked really good in it. There's also a 613 and all these reds. It also has a TH227 and TH230 down there. So if you wanna try those out, you definitely can. This looks a little small. I don't know, but it does have a stretchy cap, so you know, we'll see. So this is what that hairline's looking like, not bad at all. And then this is what the back of the cap is looking like, very, very tight curls. Um, the inside of the cap comes, it comes with the lace from ear to ear. There's no like real parting space, but you can create a part, you know, with the parting space that it does come with. So you get a little bit of lace here in the front um, with the natural hairline, the combs on the side, and then the adjustable straps in the back. So if you wanna tighten that joint down, you can definitely do that. I have seen some videos where where they glued theirs down so you know we'll see what we need to do once we put her on with the baby hairs because I don't think I want to do a bunch of swoops but you know again we'll see okay let's go ahead and uh, get myself together and let's begin all right so we're going to prep our wig as usual with our powder under our lace the lace actually looks pretty blendable um so I'm not mad at that but again we're still going to put some Wait a minute, wait a minute. But we're still gonna put some powder under there. So I'm using my L'Oreal True Match Powder in the color Cappuccino. Just a little bit on my little face blending brush here. And we're gonna put it around the hairline like that. Okay, let's see what we can do with this joint. I think I'm gonna take the straps off just to be safe, cause I don't, mm -mm. we're not even gonna play myself, okay? We're not even gonna do that. All right, let's see if I can rock my wig grip with this joint. Oh man. So it's going down in the back. Let's see if I can get her down in the front. I don't think I can. <laughs> Ooh, I'm already hating it. <laughs> Are you serious? Sensational. It's a stretchy cap, so okay, it stretches in the back. So let's we're gonna work it out. We're gonna work it out. Let me not, let me not doubt myself just yet. Okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> let's keep 
keep on working. Let's keep, oh, keep it together, Kai. Keep it together, Kai. It's, it's a snug fit, y'all. So the wig grip may not be a good option if you are um, big head like me. This is like a perfect fit, okay? It's not going nowhere, but you can see my hair is out back there. So I'm gonna have to pin that down for sure. <sighs> Let me get my bearings. Let me get my bearings. <laughs> Okay, let's clip this hair back. I will say though that the hair is really soft. Now I also got this unit in a 1B, however, I wanted to try the burgundy unit um, because obviously like a 1B is easy to style. Like a 1B, I feel like it'll look good regardless. But a color, like you gotta pull off a color. And a lot of people are not buying the colors for these units because you know, it could look a little clownish. So I'm here to try it for you. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep it cute in this joint okay but then ooh, that ear tab is not trying to come down any farther okay dang it i mean it's not like it's a lot of hairline anyway it's going to take out a little razor here and just cut this joint around that's that's it i'm trying to keep all the um baby hairs or whatever on this joint because i like i said i don't know what i'm gonna do with those yet so i don't want to cut them off and then be stuck with a a weird looking hairline, you know what I'm saying? I'm so mad you can see my sides. The comb is always up here. See, if I pull that, it's gonna, it's gonna yank right under my dang on wig grip, and I don't want that, I don't want that. Probably gonna use some bobby pins over there to gotta get that together, okay? I don't want the black of my hair showing. I don't want that, okay, I don't want that. Now we're gonna blend the lace, so I'm gonna use my contour shade. Um, a lot of you guys be seeing this in my other videos, y'all be asking me what that is. It's my contour, so blend my lace with my contour shade on my little brush here, cause you know I'm running out, so. There's that. Take it around the hairline. Y'all see that? You see that, Cheryl? You see what I did just there? Use your products and get your joint together, okay? We may be onto something. <laughs> I mean, the lace is blending like perfectly. I, I like that, okay, I likes that. I don't wanna swoop a whole bunch of baby hairs around. I got a hair on my eye. I'm going to try to use my, um, what you call it? My my styling gel, my got to be styling gel in the black bottle. It's going to soup a little bit. I definitely need this one to be down though. Okay, so I'm going to put a bobby pin right here to make sure that's going to stay down. Like that. Okay. You can definitely see the black, but again, we're going we gotta do what we can, you know what I'm saying? These like this. Back up in there like that. I want it to be like very chill swoops, if that makes any sense. Like I don't want them to be like super structured. Like I'm trying to keep the curl in it. I'm gonna cut this one just a little, little shorter. Like that. I'm not getting a bunch of shedding from the curly parts, but I am getting some shedding from the baby hair section. So when I'm brushing this, so be mindful of that. I mean, it could just be pulling because of this. So, you know, cut this a little bit shorter. Okay, let's take these out so we can see what we are working with on the top here. Let's make sure these bobby pins are where I need them to be. Any shedding? Not really. I'm gonna use some of my dry shampoo here. Uh, from Got it from Walmart. Dole it out just a little bit. Oh, that was too much. God dang. That's why I hate them new bottles. When you get a fresh bottle, putting too much out. I ain't even need all that. God darn it. I don't wanna take my dang curls out. Put a little hairspray right here. So I'm just using my Garnier Fruities Full Control Hairspray just to kind of shake this joint. Again, I don't want my curls to be bushy like this. I wanted them to keep, you know, stay in the, the shape that it was in. But that dig on, that dig on dry shampoo got me. The cut is coming out pretty cute, if I must say so myself. I was expecting her to be a lot like fuller. Y'all see how she looks on there? But on me, she's giving like a little tapered look and uh, I'm feeling me. <laughs> So let's keep on getting these little swoops together because I don't, I don't like how that's looking right there. So I'm just gonna put these old swoops behind that, like that. 
Yeah, like that. There we go. Couldn't figure out what was off, and that was off. I didn't want those swoops around my forehead like that. Let me hairspray this swoop into place. So it don't try to move. Gonna keep shaping and getting her together. Where are my bobby pins? God dang it. Let me just put some bobby pins right here in the back just to try to see if we can flatten this out just a smidge. Like this. Wait, what's this girl? What's that? Where you come from? Where you come from? Let me change out my earrings really quick. That may be too big. That may be too big. I think I kind of want the big hoof just to be extra. Here I am trying to talk myself out of it. Stop being fake. <laughs> Cardi Galore lip gloss. I still love this joint. Mm-hmm. Juicy fruit. Juicy, juicy. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of powder up in my hairline using that L'Oreal powder again. So I'm gonna put it up in my hairline like that. Cause the hairline is definitely given natural. I'm not mad at that at all. Okay, moment of truth. I gotta see what y'all seeing. I'm put my glasses on. Not bad with the install, not bad. And it's glueless, okay? I'm just make sure my lace is good. Right, right there. There we go, there we go. Peeping through the window, peeping through the blinds. <laughs> <laughs> my dad used to sing that song all the time. Who was that by? Um, Hardaway Connection in Maryland, like it was a group down there, so. <laughs> He was always playing that dang old song. Like, Dad, that's talk, that's talking about a peeping Tom. <laughs> okay, so I think this is as good as we're gonna get. Whew, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? All in all, I think she is a cute unit. Like I said, a natural color will look cute for sure. But I wanted to try a little spice here with this burgundy joint. And I must say, I was scared with the burgundy at first because it was like, you know, it's all burgundy. There's no dark root on this joint. But the color doesn't look bad at all. Like, I feel like the color looks pretty on good. If I want to add a little hat to this joint that I got from Tarjay, uh-huh. Look. <laughs> look. <laughs> okay, look. Look. <laughs> okay, she cute like that too, y'all. Okay, so listen. If you like burgundy wigs, you may want to try this one, okay? You may want to try it, and it's about $35. Okay, I'm not mad at that price point at all. It's just that it's, you know, it's a little small for my head, so, like, my, my back is not completely covered the way I would want it. I would want it to kind of hug around my ears like it's supposed to, but for my big old dome, it's not gonna do that. And again, that may be because I'm wearing my wig grip, so maybe if I took that off, then, you know, that would've, you know, gave me a little bit more space, but, you know. Considering the optics here, she had a little small. Okay. <laughs> oh, this one, no, alfalfa. No, mm, mm But what are we thinking, y'all? What are we thinking with the final look? Man, if my back came down all the way, I'd be killing this joint, you hear me? Like, dang. Thing. But you know, it is what it is. We gonna, we gonna still work it out, okay? We still gonna work it out, and I'm still gonna rock her outside and get the looks, cause you know people gonna be staring, okay, with my bright red hair. You know they gonna be staring, Cheryl. But that is all I got for you guys today. Shout out one more time to Wig Types for sending me this unit. I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link for this unit down below, so you guys wanna check out this unit, you definitely can. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash that notification bell, so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much, and I will see you next time. Bye.